All right, so I'm going to do this one because this is a Jim Cramer pick. And what I have noticed is Jim Cramer can actually be right quite often. It might not happen the next day, uh, but it, it, it usually happens within then the next week or so. So I'm just going to throw this out there. Maybe I'll do like a Cramer pick, right? And we'll just do some analysis on it. And if you like it, we'll jump into it. So he kept harping on uh, Intel today. I mean, over and over and over. And so this stuff was actually on here for quite some time ago. I actually created this. I think if I go into edit properties, it might actually tell me when. Yeah, look at that, October. So I found this quite some time ago. And uh, looking back, you know, hindsight, it's like, man, why didn't I enter in my buy zone here? So look, <laughs> looking in here, uh, I love these kind of charts. You guys are going to hear me say that over and over and over. And uh, let's just uh, take a look here. So what I noticed right away is at least in October, I found that 56 was the target here. Okay. So let's look over here. Yep. And it still is. So 56.63 is going to be the overall target into uh, Intel. And, you know, this chart does look pretty bullish, if I say so myself. All right. So if you want to, we can just um, look at this entire box in here. Let me go back here. I apologize. You know, I like to do these on the spot, so no rehearsal here. So 46.49. Just give me a second. Right, so where current price is, we don't need to see that. Let me go ahead and throw my fib in here. First things first. You see here, we came up and hit the uh, 23.6 and then pulled all the way back down. And then we shoot for the 50. Look at that. Huh? And now we shoot for the back of the box, guys. So, I mean, great position here. You let go of the 23.6, let go of the 50, and then you let some right up into the back of the box. Now, the timing on this, these are weekly candles, right? So you get kind of the gist. I mean, how long would it take to get to 56? Probably two to three weeks. If it happens this week, awesome. So if we go over here and we go to uh, trade, let's just see what the intels look like. Um, let's go 30 days out. See the 55s? We're looking at 54 cents not bad right so definitely a bullish play you could also do a couple things where you buy at the money or in the money at the 51s and uh maybe sell some of the uh 57s uh to kind of counter that uh that's one strategy or we just shoot for the 56 right uh, we could do some leaps if you guys wanted to. You guys let me know what you think about the uh, Kramer pick here, all right? And uh, to the downside, just real quick, um, price could come down all the way back to the bottom of the box. I actually created a buy zone here on a weekly at 46.64. And let me just break that down to get a little bit better uh, entry here. Okay, nice little gap up here. Uh, after hours, he was talking good stuff about it. So when it creates this, you can see price come back into the zone. As you can see, look at this wick. Came right back down in there. And then uh, tomorrow when we open up, could see price come back into this zone here as well as uh, pretty much, yeah, where the screen line is, okay? So it could be an entry at 51.42 or we just chase it up to 56.